Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Halcyon 6. Anyway, it's been like two or three days since I last recorded the last episode, so I don't really remember what I was doing. Let's get in there and find out together, shall we? I really should just watch, like, the ending of the last video of mine. It's sitting on my computer, but I like getting in here and re-examining the situation. Okay, holy officers, we have a lot of people down there. Hi, everyone. Yeah, welcome. Well, so, uh, welcome back to some more... Let's play Halcyon 6. What were we do Oh, yeah, right. We just defeated the Admirax, if I recall correctly. And now the Wraithers, under the command of Willa, have taken over the pirate area of space. I think, was it last episode? We also had the Corazon Consensus. I think that was, a, I think that was a, two episodes ago. I think the biggest thing we did last episode was we defeated the pirates, eliminating so they will no longer, I believe, send fleets to bombard Halcyon 6. Unless, at least at the moment, that maybe they'll come back later. Willa will lead a group against us later on. I guess we'll find out when or if that happens. I think we spent some time getting more automated systems up and running over here in the, Ter in the new Terran Federation. And I think we also researched our tier three ship hangers. Yes, we did. So now we just need to be able to construct them. And I don't think... I have not yet built the tier three hanger. We ha Okay, and how much is it to do that? 1,200 materials. So we probably will not do that this episode. Okay. What else are we doing? So, what do I plan doing this episode? So, we have some resources out and about. So, uh, out and about. We have some resources sitting here, not being gathered. So, I think we'll go out and gather those resources this time. We have another crawl portal opened up here. So, we'll want to shut it. We probably should try to kill more behemoths in order to gain more artifacts. And let's return this group home first before we do any of that. And then we'll see what we're doing in Halcyon 6. Or rather, what I want to do with all my officers back on Halcyon 6. And speaking of Halcyon 6, what am I doing? Okay, Bucky Rogers. Great name, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you guys... You guys all might be too young. But there used to be a... A sci-fi space show called Buck Rogers. That was on during... I think it was in the 70s. 60s or 70s. I think it was the 70s. And my my father was a big fan of that of that show. That was the one with Twinkie, wasn't it? The little robot that went beep beep beep, more stuff like that in it. It's been it's been so long since I since I watched that that show. I used to be a huge sci-fi fa uh, fan when I was really young. I would watch the original Star Trek when that was on. I watched uh, some Buck Rogers, not very much of it. Battlestar Galactica? Was that the one with the Cylons? With the thing that went back and forth across their their head? I never I never watched the remake of Battlestar Galactica. I heard it I heard it was pretty good. That's all I heard. I did <laughs> I have heard it. I did I did not watch it though. I guess a part of me is always worried when they redo an old show I used to watch that they'll mess it up. So that's uh, I tend to avoid watching any of the remakes that they do, just because I'm so nervous about that. Alright, I'm beginning to babble. Let's go ahead and look, what am I doing else here? I, I think I'm here now? Yep, Tim! I am making some dark matter, or extracting it, or multiplying it, whatever the heck I'm doing. Oh, and Supernova, I have you doing this as well at the moment. Oh, I forgot, I have two engineers of mine. Two engineers, two tactical officers? Two tactical officers are with my current fleet. We're building a propulsion lab. Well, that'll come in handy, I think. All right, so let's get back to our base. I still didn't figure out what we're doing. Let's get back to the base. Stop! What's happening? Echo Durante. We gained a new crewman. Echo Durante is continuing to replicate materials. We gained a new petty officer. Let's take a look and see who we gained. Plus three evasion on the cabinator. Greed. Crewman Hicks. Plus 4% damage on the Swarm Queen. And Echo, I guess you can continue to replicate at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, so I we both literally just completed this as our fleets arrived back, so I'm not going to feel too bad taking us out of it. We're replicating dark matter at the moment, so let's go ahead and go back to Halcyon 6. And I just started this, I'm going to I'm gonna keep doing my, this task because I know I don't have a ship and I'm not going to give myself one for a little bit. But you, Supernova, we will cancel your task because I plan to send you out again. Okay, so let's go back to our star map, and I think we will assemble a fleet, we'll come here, grab this fuel, come here, grab this dark matter, grab the materials, and then we'll, we'll probably, because we have some drones, we'll probably start automating a few of these as well. I also like to rebuild a few of the ruined facilities that we have out here. We'll also look for a fleet, we'll keep eyeing this to see if a, if a fleet comes out of this portal and deal with it. And when, we're, when we eventually come over here to grab this fuel, we'll then swing down here and eliminate that Kroll portal. We'll shut that down. And there's Nutera. We'll, we'll eventually want to go there. Okay, so. Let's... Let's put together a fleet for this. So... I think we'll send out this, the original crew. So let's go ahead, or original officers, that is. So I'm going to want Falnix Defense. I think that's correct. Milner, yep, Supernova. Swarm Queen with a Dorkable. Yep, okay, good. Let's... First, let's customize really quickly. Am I, am I still fine with the equipment? I think so. I think it's just basically smoke stuff I'm using. I'm not even using any of it. Oh, you know what? We can break that down. I can. I think I can break this stuff down. How do How do I do that? Is that in the ship management? If I come to equipment. Oh, I know it's possible to break down the equipment. How do I do that? Here we go. So. I don't know if we'll need so many smoke expellers. Let's go ahead and scrap. You can't scrap equipment that's already being equipped. Oh, do I only have one, one, one equipped? It's... It's... I'm confused. Storage... Nope, still confused. Oh! Is this... Nope, I don't get this. <laughs> What's going on here? These look like these are checked. Okay, I see. So then if I say scrap one, scrap it, then I lose the ability to scrap the rest of them. So it's a glitch. Okay, come back over here. A bit annoying if I want to scrap them each individually. I want to basically, I want to hold on to one of them. Okay, so, let's do this again. We're going to send out... Phalanx Defense. Immediately pause the game, and then we're going to go back to our star base. And what are we doing with you, Greed? What level am I? Level 4? Lucky Rogers. I'm tempted to clear out a room with you. Oh my goodness, the rest of the rooms are actually available to be cleared. Okay, I'm a little nervous because I would like another officer with me, but we have been improving my green shirts. Why don't I stop this? This way I can assist, and we'll have you clear like two rooms. Greed, let's start with... Oh no, we can't have you do that. What level are you? Level se oh, you need to be level 7. You need to be level 7. Okay, never mind. So, um, thankfully, I, I didn't spend too long in this, not doing anything. So, I need you doing something, Greed. There's no ships I want to upgrade at the moment. It's 
200 metal. I don't know if I want to do that. We need that for our tier 3 ship hangar. Why don't we have you do some dark matter creation? How long would it take you to do this, Greed? Six days? We'll have you get that done at least once. And it just occurs to me, I could scrap our tier one ships. No one's piling them. How about I sign myself to this vessel? Because these ones, I don't need another officer. We have different ships. Echo could use a vessel, Tim. So that just leaves the old cabinator, the old ictus here. Let's scrap this one, I'm, th I'm thinking. So we'll take off the smoke expeller. And we'll scrap this ship. We're never going to fly it again. Sure, we get back 38 crew and 94 dark matter. I was actually hoping we'd get back materials for that, but it may make sense that since we didn't use any materials to create it, that we wouldn't get any of that back. Fuel to the fleet. Echo is replicating more materials. That's fine. Let's view the facility. What level are you, Echo? Level six. Okay. Once you're level seven, you can do the tier three one. We're getting actually close to being able to utilize those materials. We might not have to wait for our... Actually, we also have drones bringing them back. So we... Um, what I'm babbling about right now, not making much sense, is that I thought I might have to wait till I get back with this fleet till I can build the next Tier 3 Starship hangar bay. But that might not be the case. Commander, the propulsion lab is now online. Show the location. Reduce the fuel cost of travel by 12 by 10%. Increase the travel speed of all your fleets by 10%. So I'm going to want so I'm going to want that. Let's have Echo finish more materials and then she will come over here to the propulsion lab. Transfer the dark matter. Leave the system. I know I'm going to need more dark matter. I should have stopped by... We'll stop by there later. Let's pick up the materials. Transfer that to the fleet. Leave the system. And let's go grab... Oh, hello. Okay, we're here. So let's go do this fight first. Behemoths. Obliterate these cute guys for precious precursor artifacts. Hole breach cannot be used in this fight. Okay, so I think it was group one was going to be my fight the behemoth group. I'm sorry, um, skill set. One. Can we crew panic these guys? We can. At least that one we can. Oh, but we have crew, we have crew panic abilities. So I don't need to really shift anything down here. So deconstruct is not useful in this fight. So we will keep that off. And we'll grab the shock mine. Right, I can stun these things. Yes. Okay. Let's give it a try. I think we'll start with a protective field to reduce damage that we take in the future. And then we should totally hit this one, a tier two who hasn't gone yet with this effect to slow him and reduce his 
damage. Big hits over there. Let's brace with the Swarm Queen. To draw that fire. I'm going to cauterize the hole in the Ictus to get you back in fighting shape. And then we will weapons disruption. Another one of them. Vulnerable this guy. I guess we're gonna go after this one first. Nice. Taking those hits like a champ down there, Swarm Queen. I'm greatly impressed with that. Let's crew panic. And then we'll slow down the one that just attacked. Good dodge there, Disciple, with you, Supernova. Let's use my Shock Mind to stun this guy. We'll, we'll aim to kill it if we can. Let's torture him. Dimensional Flashbang. This guy again. Tier 2. I want those abilities on him as far as long as I can keep them on them. Well, ramming speed, this should kill this one. Just barely. But it did it. Let's warp the atomic structure to put crew panic on this one. Because I'm going to kill this with Milner and his Ictus. <laughs> Uh, can I into the ones before I kill it? It might. Let's have you use one of your quick tune-ups down here, Swarm Queen. And then... We'll keep disabling strike on him. Warp another atomic structure. Oof, kind of a big hit, but we'll be all right. Let's, uh, I mean, I don't think we'll get overkill, but we'll flat cannon. I like the look of this ability. I love the sound effect of that. That is that is a great ability. It's a shame it, it takes advantage of um, engines down. Five artifacts for our trouble. The colony at Karina is safe once more, Commander. Acknowledged. Commander, another Mega Behemoth has ambushed our fleet. Give me visuals. This one, codenamed Sparkles, is said by our specialists to have a precursor power core lodged within her prefrontal lobe. Uh-oh. Red alert! Shields up! All hands at battle stations. So I have to do this battle with the skills I had, and we still can't hole breach. Let's see how bad this goes for us. Let's start with a protective field. Okay, so we cannot slow it. Look at all those hit points it has. Let's aim for the eye. We'll brace with you down here, Swarm Queen, to draw all the fire. Oh, or not. Shutdown beam. Woo! Energy drain. Damage over time. I guess that heals it as well. Let's into the fray. Uh, 
Vulnerable cannot work against it. Can I stun it? We cannot stun it either. This is... this is awkward. Let's ram it. And we'll put another weapons disruption on a different system. Oh, you got stunned on your sorcerer. Start healing us all. I guess we're just using engines down. So let's keep focusing on the eye. And we'll still, you know, we're going to keep applying our weapon disruption on the two systems that I'm able to, in order to keep them from, from hurting us. It looks like this upper system will just keep healing itself over time. Who's going next? Okay. Can I crew panic it? I can crew panic! That's very good. then I can exploit that. The, I still can't stun it. And you didn't take the other ability. I'm a little nervous. It's going a bit more often, so I'm going to repair drone overdrive. Oh, that's a salvage harpoon, basically. Okay. Another weapon disruption. Dash is Pathos. Uh, that's a stun. Oh, Jesus. I think we use Adaptive Armor again. To heal us over time, give us a little more defenses. Oh, I have a Doom Cannon. I forgot about that. Let's try taking out the eye. Won't do it, and the eye... But the eye's not going next. Oh no! Wow! And I can't heal you up there. Thankfully, you're not taking any damage over time. Your vessel's almost destroyed as well, uh... Adorkable. is gonna go next too and it doesn't have weapons disruption on it but I think I need a quick tune-up and we need the corduroy's hole or the ictus is dropping nice damage over time took the eye down anyway oh thank god all right that's gonna make this a, a lot easier for us now that we're dealing with one less ship effectively I'm gonna brace are you gonna brace Tim <laughs> that draws Draws its attention down there to you. I don't think you should brace yet. He'll, he'll be okay at the moment. Protective field. Reduce damage we take. Now let's get those weapons disruptions back on them. Can't use quick tune up. We'll heal you before we have to. We'll, we will heal you, Swarm Queen. We need to keep weapon disruptions on both of those systems to stop them from. Well, take, uh, doing too much damage to us. And we'll focus on the mouth. Oh. 
Let's you pair drone over. Oh, I don't need it yet. Packed attack. It did something. I don't know what it did, but I'm glad it didn't get to do anything. We have quite a bit of time to do things as well before they get to go. Let's keep the weapons disruption on them. You know what? I'm going to then torture down here. We'll brace with the Swarm Queen. Oh, crap, Tim. Your weapon disruption is off of cooldown. Oh, wait, no. You focus beam. So put that back on the, on the mouth. And I guess we'll use my last adaptive armor. The cannon passed. We're not going to get to kill the mouth before it gets to possibly do something. No damage over time, thankfully. Thank God for Cluster Swarm. I would love to use another Into the Fray, but I kind of... Actually, let's use another Into the Fray. Oh, I should have target down there, though, Tim. This is your last heal as well on your Sorcerer. So you better get that mouth killed at the very least. Okay, just the cannon. That's a teal over time. Let's use your quick tune-up on you, Swarm Queen. Might, might as well start healing yourself. We'll target support to get the, our damage up. <coughs> We have that because we we have to out. We got to do more damage, and this thing's going to be healing. I don't want to use torture because I want that weapons disruption to stay on it. Second dark matter. The little bit of heal that does you as well. I can't vulnerable it, right? Can't vulnerable. Let's exploit the crew panic. You gotta focus on it to kill it. And by that I mean you don't look at your abilities. Look at the damage they do. You need to do the most damage you have with with your skills now. Let's brace down here. Maybe it'll draw its attention. No. This does more damage. It still applies that effect. We now can torture it because Miller's gonna go again and be able to re-put the weapon disruption on it. We might as well ramming speed two, does good damage. Protect. And then hit it with another dimensional flashbang, re-put weapon disruption. I hate you. Yes, damage over time killed it. Battle one, 10 artifacts. Mega Behemoth Power Core. 5% crit, 10% damage added to a ship. I think that should go to the Ictus. Commander, our Precursor Specialists have successfully extracted the Precursor Power Cell from the gray matter of the Mega Behemoth Sparkles. And all you guys leveled up. That's perfect. You're, we're badly hurt. So we probably need to withdraw back to Halcyon 6 and get our systems repaired. So let's do that while I'm watching what this what this guy's doing. Let's also pause. A bunch of stuff is happening. Let's go ahead and see what all this stuff was. Echo is that's 
Oh, I don't want Echo Replicating Materials any longer. Let's cancel that task. And let's pay visit to the Propulsion Lab with Echo. So, we'll take Transwarp Drive Improvements to increase the speed of our fleets by 10%. Our sorcerer has gained 4% damage. Congratulations for you, for you, Supernova. Milner has leveled up. All right, let's do the profile. Level eight. Holy crap! Congratulations. So I think I, I wasn't, I still wasn't sure which of these to take, and I, I double checked all my comments. Uh, I like to say home. I didn't see which one you would prefer. So I'm thinking that we'll grab the counselor training because this will give us an aura, which will affect all my ships. So let's go ahead and grab Counselor Training 1. Increases the aim by 10% and evasion by 10% of all allied ships. Auras take effect immediately and don't cost any time to activate. Oh no, is this bugged? Okay, that worked. <laughs> that worked. Uh, I'm going to save the game really quick as well. While, while, I, while I can. <laughs> Just in case something untoward happens. Alright, good. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's look at you again, Milner. So, congratulations, Counselor Milner, on that upgrade. Strategist Counselor. Counselor Strategist. And we're probably taking Synthetic Valiance in the next uh, the next upgrade so that we can level up into the fray to Tier 2. We should do these in the order. Supernova also was promoted to level 8. That's incredible. Congratulations, Supernova. So, oh, I forgot all about the fact you have Chaos Theorist training. Unlocks the Force Targeting Ship. I didn't even see this as an option, but maybe I wasn't looking very hard for it. I definitely want Dark Matter Subatomic, because I would like to upgrade that damaging skill you possess. So let's go ahead and grab this next. So you'll gain... Oh, this will become rank 3. Very nice. Warp Atomic Structure reaches rank 3. Hazard Zone also goes to rank 3. Hazard Zone being a ground power. I wonder if I even... I guess we should take Dark Matter Cannons. And next up on the list, Adorable also got promoted to level 8. Acknowledge, that's actually... Um, I'm looking at you. And I think a commando is what we wanted on you, Adorable. So let's go ahead and take this. Garden Ally. For the next three rounds, the, the Forcer's ship will absorb all incoming attacks. I'm continuing to, to replicate Dark Matter, that's fine. Echo, we know, is no longer doing that. Echo is no longer doing that. Okay. Go us! That was that was quite tricky. I'm glad to see that we were able to, to defeat the Behemoth. Commander, the Propulsion Lab has completed its task. Show the location. We can take another 10% speed, so I think we probably should do that. Actually, let's not... Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. So, we'll have Echo. I know that's, that's kind of expensive for Dark Matter. But it will take me a while to build the Tier 3... Hangar. 148 Dark Matter. 176 Materials brought back. And I am continuing to make Dark Matter. That is, cool. that is fine. Alright! I made it back. Let's save the game again. So I guess this is what happens with the behemoths. You kill a bunch of behemoths, you get their artifacts, a super behemoth shows up, forces you into combat immediately after the battle you had just fought versus the current behemoths. You get a ton of artifacts for that though, which is very, that's very, very nice. But that's also a bit of a bummer because I'm almost, I'm probably guaranteed to have to flee back to Halcyon 6 at the end of each of those. With my people back at home, Oh, I thought all of these were opened up for me to explore. That's not the case. Okay. That's weird. Why did I think that? Let's go ahead and clear one of these rooms while my fleet is back home. My fleet. While my... Oh, that's, that's, that's correct. While your fleet's back at home. So, Adorkable, you have the quickest time for this. One single day, we'll have you clear it. The rest of you will be on standby to assist if I need the help. And I should watch for when Greed is done with Dark Matter Creation 2. Commander, Pulsar Lamb has completed its task. 
We'll just go with acknowledge this time around. What's this? Oh, wow! We can see the names of all this, these places. How about that? Okay, um, let's go back to the star base. And for some, I want to build the tier three star base over here. I, I told, we totally have a room right here for it, but well, maybe actually we do have, you do have hangers on this side, Tim. Build another hanger on this side. Ah, I want to, I want to build it over there for no, for no, for no big reason. Greed. Okay, you are done with that one dark matter. I don't need you to spend six days doing this again. We are instead going to have you work on your cabinator. Oh, we can make you have the first tier three ship. If you're level seven, you're not. Okay. I Means one of our level sevens could do that while I'm waiting. I kind of want you to do this though. I can afford to do one other upgrade with you. So let's go ahead and give you... Hit points could be nice, but so could damage. We'll grab the damage upgrade first. So once this room is done, we'll begin building the tier 3 hangar there. Oh, crap! Three tier twos. Okay. How close are we to that room? We're, it's practically cleared. Okay, let's go to that location. And what we what we need to do immediately is save this colony. So let's head over here with... Oh, this fleet's heavily damaged, so we're going to need to repair it. We have no choice. Oh, we do have a choice. We don't have to, but I totally will. Let's immediately launch them. And pause the game. Okay, the good news is we'll get some dark matter materials from this. It'll be a bit of a tough fight, though. We'll come down here afterwards, maybe, to close that portal. Okay, in the meantime, let's go ahead and build that Tier 3 Starship Hangar here. And Bucky Rogers, you're almost done with that single upgrade we had you do this ages ago. Echo is no longer doing anything, Tim, and should be. So we might as well throw her into here. I think she's only level 6, so she has to keep doing Mana Replication 2. Oh, how's my power in Halcyon 6? Okay, so we will need another power station at some point in the near future. We can build one more type of structure, though, probably before we need it. Commander, the cadet barracks has completed its task. Show the location. And I forget what that was that we were upgrading, actually. But it took, it was one of the tier two upgrades. That took forever with you, Bucky Rogers. It was one of these ones then. No, I'm sorry, it was one of these ones. So it was either the visual or the armor. I think it was the armor? Yeah, I think it was hit points. Yeah, I think it was the hit points. So we might as well take... I guess we could take another upgrade. We have some materials lying around. So let's upgrade... Let's upgrade the damage by 60%. And we can have Bucky continue to do this sort of work. Commander, the precursor ship hangar has completed the upgrade. Show location. That did not level you, Greed. You are close. Alright, so we'll have to have you do something different. So... What can we do here? We can spend the 200 materials we have lying around for nat neuro upgrades. Let's go ahead and do that with you. It'll take you some days to complete the task. But we'll earn a lot more experience points for naval combat. 30% more. So it may seem a bit harsh because most of my 
most of my people are inside Halcyon 6, they're not out here fighting. But we will eventually have two fleets running around out here, in which case we will see a nice benefit from all of this. Okay, hello, Kroll. We showed up just in time. We can't disable any of these enemies for this battle. So let's go ahead first and start... I think three. Was my Kroll fleet. And I guess, yeah, I mean, we're going to keep Meditation Boost. It's the only one we have so far. These are standard Kroll. Okay, so, down here our Sorcerer. This all looks correct to me. Yeah, you don't have an ability! That's weird. Why not, Supernova? You should have some sort of psychic ability, right? I don't- maybe- maybe I have to click on one of them to make them use it on my turn? Like, I, I, for some reason I expected to see an ability just like Guard Ally or Meditation Boost on you, but I don't see it. Maybe I, I accidentally didn't level you correctly? I'll, I'll take a look when we get back. Maybe I didn't make you a Chaos Theorist. I thought I did, though. Can we vulnerable these things? We can. Okay, yep, this is all correct. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I forgot to put the piece of equipment on your archer. Um, I like to stay home. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to do that later, right after this fight. Good god, these guys are big. Alright, well, let's start with the standard. Protective field is to begin. To reduce the damage we'll take from all of this next round. Oh, okay, so I guess we have to spin around and activate this. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, nice! Th that does not consume your turn, either. Very good. So then, let's use Dimensional Flashbang. We're not likely to get the weapon disruption on them. But we will slow them. This is their damage dealer, so I'm gonna put it on this one. And then we'll brace in order to draw the attention to the Swarm Queen. Woo, good dodges! Good dodges on the Sorcerer Supernova. Siphon Dark Matter. Into the fray. And then we... We could take advantage of the Crew Panic and just do massive damage to it. We'll probably kill it next round. Let's just, let's put Vulnerable on it this round. Portal Cannon? I don't really need to do anything else at the moment. It's Vulnerable, so we could use Bullseye. Oh, we could also use Triple Shot to put a little bit of damage on all of them. Let's do this. And this is within range of an overkill if I use my ramming speed. Did it! Holy crap! Very nice. Warp atomic structure. Let's begin focusing on the weaker of these two science vessels. Could Doom Cannon. Well, I might I might want that against the group that's defending the portal. Let's vulnerable up here. Can we maybe kill that one before it gets a chance to go? We might be able to. I'll have to get super lucky to do it with a bullseye. No, we won't. We won't actually do it. Let's targeting support. Let's increase the damage that will do. Yeah, where, where 
Where's my Chaos Theorist ability? Where is it? I guess I didn't take it. Less protective armor. Exploit the crew panic. And then exploit the vulnerable. Oh my god! Critical hit almost destroys the Ictus with one single hit. Let's heal up there. A quick tune-up. Dimensional flashbang. Keep those stats effects. And he was he was weapon disrupted everyone. He did 25% less damage. So that would have that one crit would have reduced our Ictus from full life to zero life. Instantly. Doesn't seem very fair to me. I don't, I don't think I have the hit. Well, you have the ability to crit. I don't think I've ever seen myself get so lucky like that, though. It occurs to me, Swarm Queen. I'm not using your drones. <laughs> I really, really should. One more turn to remove speeds off cooldown. I don't have flak cannon either. We can deconstruct, and then it, our sorcerer can get the kill. Two seventy-eight materials, five twenty-seven dark matter, and two items: adrenal glands two, chaos aorta two. Colony at Rigel is safe once more, Commander. Acknowledged. Uh, the automated system can deliver that crew. Oh, it, it, it looks like it already is. Next, let's go to our equipment. Oh, can I... I don't think I can... Can I do this from here? I can. All right, perfect. So let's give the crit and damage to the Ictus. Invasion, that's fine. And the Swarm Queen, I thought I saw something that gives us more speed. Adrenal Glands too. We're totally taking that. Carburetor. So let's give you a Chaos Aorta instead of the Omega Drones. Oh, wait, you can have three pieces of equipment, so we'll do that as well then. I suppose Echo should have something on, on her vessel. I do like we can do that in space. In space. All right, do we want to deal with this portal? And then I'll check to see if, we, if we're calling it a session. I think we should. I think we can take this out. Two tier twos into tier one. We just killed tier three tier twos. Why don't I... I'll be right back, everyone. I'm going to go check on my recording just to make sure my, my voice is coming out okay with the game. And then we'll wrap up this portal. And that was, this will also give me a, a chance to see how long I've been playing for. That eh, sounds acceptable. I think I like it so far. All right, let's take a look. What's our missions, by the way? Return home, upgrade refinery at Ghost Head. Oh, I still have to do that, too? Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that easily enough, then, in the future. In the future. Actually, we, we could do this now. We have, we have another fleet sitting around, basically. Once I'm done with the next... Actually, we can... I could do this now. Let me send out myself to the fuel refinery here. So we'll make a new fleet. And out I go. So we'll transfer the fuel to the fleet, I'll view the facility, and then we will deploy a drone here. 
I think that's what we needed to do. Oh, no, I should have increased the capacity. Okay, well, too late. I guess we'll just grab this 25 fuel really quickly whenever it's ready. Kind of a waste if I stop to think about it, but it's too late now. All right, um, let's go up here and grab this fuel. Transfer that to the fleet, leave the system, and now we'll come down here and shut the portal. And also, I was playing for 50 minutes. We have, a, we have enough time that we can do something else. So we're gonna come down here and shut down the crawl. Commander, the cadet barracks has completed its task. Show the location. What level are you, Bucky Rogers? Still, you're not leveling quickly at all. All right, still level four. There's not gonna be much you're gonna be able to do unless you. I just have you sitting here recruiting five crew over and over and over again. And hold on, we have some notifications. Petty Officer Sulu, congratulations. Plus three more evasion on the Ictus MK2. Oh, I was supposed to name MK2 with all my with all my vessels. I didn't do that. Um, I guess the Cabinator is the only one that doesn't need an MK2 designation because it's this, it's the same ship just being upgraded. But the Swarm Queen totally should have been MK2 a long time ago. And we have Echoes continue to replicate. Let's go and take a peek at you, Echo. Do I want you doing that? Oh, we're almost done anyway, so I guess we'll have you continue to do that, yes. Okay, let's have you cancel this task, Echo, and let's take a peek. So we could have you make more drones. What's our task in the propulsion labs? You're not level seven. You are still level six. So we can't have you increase the propulsion lab again. I guess we'll have you... Greed's... I thought Greed was gonna do that, Tim. Greed's in the Officer Academy doing some actual other work. No, Greed can't do this. No, no one here can currently do this. You need a level 7 officer to do that. You don't have any left over here. So, how about the repair bay? Let's grab a repair cost reduction. That was pretty expensive, dark matter-wise, to do the repairs we had. Oh, maybe not, Tim. You're going to need another power, another reactor soon. And that's gonna be like, four, how much is it to build Triathlon? Exactly 400. Why don't you actually build that reactor? And just have Echo come back down here and continue with matter replication. Galang, Galang. <laughs> what am I sound like a Vortigaunt? <laughs> hmm. Really? And why do you think you feel that way? Kathanga! Kathanga! Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. I'm looking at my skills, and I think this is okay. We're fighting at a portal. Let's go ahead, so in other words, I don't have to worry about any special effects. And I, I wanted to take a peek at you. You don't have Chaos Theorist. Was that kind of a waste to take then? I'll take a look at this later. Let's see. Can I click on you and make you use an ability? Is that how that works? No. Okay, I don't know how that works. Let's go ahead and use Protective Field. We will use Meditation Boost. And then, Dimensional Flashbang, as before. Uh, and we should, I would like to keep this on the Ghast. <laughs> to really keep him from being able to use some of the special abilities and keep him slowed. Brace, see if we can draw their attention. Lots of damage going on. 
I don't think I need to heal quite yet. Well, actually, let's use the adaptive armor. And then we'll start slowing down their tier 2 smasher. Let's vulnerable the tier 2. Crew panic the tier 2. Then into the fray. You resist whatever effect it wanted to put on you. That's good. I'm gonna guard. Just in case they decide to go for the Ictus, because you're you're not taking any damage. You have plus 10%, plus 60% damage resistance. Wow. Plus you have 85% damage resistance at the moment, Swarm Queen. So you are not taking any damage from their attacks. That is wonderful. Wow. This is that's impressive. It's not going next. Let's exploit the engines down. Sure, we'll get another adaptive armor on us. Vulnerable, it's going soon. Let's exploit the vulnerable and kill the bats with the smasher. Can we vulnerable this guy? Let's go ahead and do that. Protect the field ourselves again. Initial flashbang isn't off cooldown. But you'll get a chance to go before it will, so that will be fine. Let's slow the other basher. We're gonna go for the tier 2 next. Since it's more of a threat. I love this combination. All these, all these nice defensive stats, um, buffs, reducing the damage you take by, let's see again, 50%, 75%, 85%. You're, you're not taking any, like, you're not, your damage isn't, you're not, you're not taking any. It's, that's the best. <laughs> that is absolutely the best. Oh, I don't need to do any of this with you, with your sorcerer. Hypernova, let's go... Uh, super, sorry, Supernova. Let's go ahead and just do that, then. We're targeting support. To give us more damage. And then... Crew Panic didn't make it onto that vessel, Tim. We can vulnerable it, I suppose, again. Then let's exploit the whole breach. Unnatural surge and sensors offline. It's that's not so bad though. We could doom cannon and maybe get the overkill. Let's do that. You managed to d disable yourself, though, and your engines are down because of Doom Cannon, I think. I guess we'll hold breach here. Put a crew panic on it. 
I'm going to use Repair Drone Overdrive, which should, I think, cure your sass effects as well. Yep. Protective Field. And this is ready. I just need a slowdown on that vessel. Might kill it though, Tim, by accident. Actually, this will kill it. I think I want the, if I'm gonna kill it, I want my a bullseye to oh, a bullseye to do it, but or it will die automatically over time. Okay. Oh well. Nice. Omega drones MK1 again. Fuel bowels plus four evasion. But we have we can't resist engines that are vulnerable as often. Commander, it seems the portal at our fleet's location dissipated as soon as we destroyed the coal contingent guarding it. There won't be any more Kroll coming from this sector. Supernova gained Kroll Expert. Damage I'm beginning to understand them much better now. Damage resistance versus Kroll, plus 5%. Adorkable gamed Kroll Hater. I don't like them one bit, no sir. Damage bonus versus Kroll, plus 10%. Milner gamed Structural Engineer. I know how to make this ship stronger. Space Combat Health plus 5%. Supernova, what did I level with you? How does this work? Force Targeting. Takes control of the targeted ship. Letting the Chaos Theorists choose their next action immediately. But where is that ability? Maybe it's a ground ability? Is it, wait, it would be here. I don't see it at all! What the heck? Did I not take it? I can't tell. Oh, I didn't take it! I didn't take it! That, that's what's happening! I didn't take it! Level 8, we took Dark Matter Subatomics. I thought I had taken one of these and I didn't. Okay, my bad. My bad. Okay, so I will need to level the... Uh, next time we level level 9, we'll definitely take one of those. And maybe even the next rank of it. Now, I would like to do some more upgrades. We should come here first. Commander, your satellite drone has been deployed at Ghost Head. Automated resource delivery should commence soon. I guess while we're here, we can upgrade the fuel refinery capacity. Which will complete the one task. Oh, Bucky Rogers is not doing anything. I don't think there's a lot you can do, Bucky. I guess we can just keep having you replicate the crew. We have so many crew as well. We don't really need crew. Not with 926 of them there. Actually, I say that, but I think it's like 200 or so for the Tier 3 starship, so maybe I'm completely wrong in that regard. Transfer the field to the fleet. Leave the system. Alright, let's go here. Commander, the Officer Academy has completed its task. Show the location. And you did not... I don't think that leveled you, Greed. It did not... It, you're close! You're close, but that still did not level you. So... You're not level 7, so we can't take Improved Cognition. You're not level 7, so I can't take Tier 3, and I'm not gonna spend 5 artifacts, upgrade a hull, or ship speed, right? I can get your Cabinator up to Tier 3. So, how about ship construction? Oh, nope, sorry. A tier 1 hangar? Oh, we could take faster ship construction. Maybe. With you, Greed. Three days. Go ahead and do it. Commander, Milner's point at the Dark Matter Extractor at Rosette is in ruins. However, with enough crew, we could probably get up and running again. Let's do this. So we'll add an officer. And it's three days for Supernova. Four days for others. So Supernova will begin doing that. Commander, 
We successfully upgraded the maximum capacity of fuel at Ghost Head. Commander, you should be able to perform similar upgrades to all remaining facilities that you discover in Terran Federation space. And we gained 20 fuel for upgrading Ghost Head. As you can see, we've been hovering around 200 fuel now for some time, though. I'm not really worried about fuel any longer. I don't, I don't think I will be in for the rest of the game. Well, especially now that now that this location has been upgraded, and we have an automated way to bring this fuel back to us. Okay, I'm going to return myself. Let's send myself over here. Commander, the Terran Starship Hangar, Tier 3, is now available. Show the location. Okay, everyone, the time has come for you guys to take a peek and tell me what Tier 3 ship you want. This also means that I'll probably be waiting to record the next episode until this one goes up. That's going to be kind of hard because, uh, well, I've, I've had some time to record and I just I want to keep recording while I have that time. But whatever, we'll just wait. So, here we go again. So we have the Assassin and the Ranger for our Tier 3 Tactical Vessels. The Assassin, I think, is the equivalent of the upgraded Archer. Is that right? What's its crit? Oh, maybe that's not the case. Oh, it, it's not! What?! <laughs> it's the... This is the Rogue, I think. I don't actually know. So here's, here's its stats. So... Uh, here's this whole 1,400, well, whatever, you don't need me to read it. And also, now, as at Tier 3, our own produced starships will carry two pieces of equipment. That will come in really handy as well. I'll have to remember to do that. We also just unlocked a new combat ability, or at least, at least one, for all our vessels as well. And these ones will have five total skills that they can go into combat with instead of four that our current ones do. Not including personal space combat upgrades. So let me know what you would like. Uh, I want. I'd like to stay home, and we'll go ahead and give you that type of ship. As for you, Adorkable, let me know which of these you would like. Here's our Galliant versus our Paladin. And it looks like I have enough dark matter that I can build two of these right off the bat. So we're probably going to do that. A week. It'll take a week to build them as well. For our science vessels, I think, you, again, you mentioned Hypernova 98 that you don't care particularly which one I build. I'm a fan of the sleeker looking vessel only because I like the look of it. I don't particularly, I don't look at the stats very often. I probably should, but I, I just, I don't like the look of this. I like, I like this one. So we're going to be going with the witch, I think, for, uh, for the next upgrade. Good God. 1,378. Also, my intention will be to build two of each of these vessels, not just one, because I'm going to want, well, most of these vessels, right? We don't need one for Greed, who's going to be using a upgraded precursor vessel instead. But I will build a second tactical, and we'll build a second science vessel for us. And this way, we, I'll have two fleets that can go out and about. And this is because... Probably, if not the next episode, the one after that, we're going to investigate New Terra. Keep in mind as well that because we just built the Tier 3 hangar, the enemies will begin having Tier 3 ships very, very soon. Okay, everyone. Well, that'll do it for us. Let's summarize what, what, we, ha what we did this time. So, we fought with the Tier 2 Mega Behemoth, and we defeated it. That was... Tricky battle, woo! But we did it, thank goodness I accidentally remembered we had Doom Cannon. We were able to repulse a Kroll fleet from a, a, an invasion, and we destroyed the portal that they popped out of. We are now sending myself out and about on a little, on my single old uh, disciple. And I am gonna be doing some upgrades for a few of these places. And we also have now my fleet. They're going around and we, well, after doing a bunch of that, those battles, they are now going to restore the ruined facility to operational status and probably put a drone in it. I like having drones everywhere eventually if I can do that because I don't really want to have to come out here and collect the resources every so often. 
it's gonna be kind of important that I get as much dark matter as possible. So our, if we have any more fighting that has to occur, I'll probably resend out the Moria fleet and leave both my officers, myself and Hypernova, I say Supernova, back at the Halcyon Six to keep to continuously replicate, uh, or sorry, mm, produce dark matter because I'm gonna need as much of that as possible now. And in the future for our research, I'm gonna... You know what's weird? I thought by now I would need the counselor's room, but are we managed to get our morale back up to 80%. That's actually fantastic. Oh, what the heck? There's upgrades here? Oh, no, these upgrades, these upgrades are not researched. Here. They have to be researched. Wait, I don't understand what these are. Why do I why do I see marksman upgrades here? Warder? Okay, who cares? <laughs> don't get distracted, Tim. Wrap up the wrap up wrap up the video. So uh, I would like to research a counselor's room as well. That could be handy because that will just gradually improve your morale over time. And I think there's other upgrades you can do there as well. So that might be something we could also have our other officers do in the free time. And having a having the last power station unlocked would allow me to make better use of the rooms my power stations are currently in because these these final ones produce 50 power not 30 but that is some time from now right now in the next episode it's going to be tier three starships i'm focusing on so that will do it for me thank you guys for watching i babbled way too much there at the, at the end and i will hopefully see you all in the next one take care everyone